Hello, I'm David Kim. Once again, an incredibly affordable condominium listing has appeared in Yale Town, the most desirable area to live in downtown Vancouver. The location is truly excellent and you can walk everywhere. It can be said that there is no better location. This is a condominium unit in Yale Town, Vancouver with two bedrooms, two bathrooms and a solarium. The solarium is large enough to be used as a room. The building's address is 950 Cumbie Street and it is a 30-year-old building. The top floor is the 28th, making it a high-rise condominium, and the average selling price in the building is very affordable at $782 per square foot. The maintenance fee is also similar to other buildings. The building is fully equipped with all amenities including a swimming pool, hot tub and gym and is well maintained. Unit 406 on the 4th floor was listed a few days ago with a listing price of $688,000. This is the price for an alike 3 bedroom condominium in downtown Vancouver. The size of the house is a whopping 1,102 square feet. It's a very large size and such condominiums are rare in downtown. The price per square foot is $624, cheaper than the two bedroom unit in the same building that I introduced before. This price is cheaper than in Surrey and Langley and can be considered one of the cheapest in the greater Vancouver area. The actual floor plan shows two bedrooms, two bathrooms and a den. This is the master bedroom which has a proper closet and is large. It is very clean and the entire master bedroom has hardwood floors. This is the second bedroom, which also has a proper closet and is large. This is also very clean and the second bedroom also has hardwood floors throughout. This is the solarium listed as a den. The difference between a solarium and a den is the presence of windows. This is a solarium with windows and can be used as a room. It is large and many people use this solarium as a bedroom. There are two full-size bathrooms in the property. The living room is also very large and clean. The entire property has hardwood floors except the solarium. The kitchen has been renovated and is clean. The property is fully equipped with a washer and dryer. The 2024 BC government assessment value of this property is $757,000. The listing price is $688,000, which is 9% cheaper than the government assessment value. The 2023 BC government assessment value was $830,000, so the 2024 government assessment value has dropped a whopping 9% from the 2023 government assessment value. Assuming you buy this property at the listing price and get an 80% mortgage after a 20% down payment, the monthly expenses for mortgage, property tax and maintenance fee alone are $3,961. A unit like this can easily fetch a rent of over $3,800 per month. Even in this high interest rate situation, almost all costs can be covered by rent alone. I expect the actual selling price to be between $700,000 and $720,000. This property will not have an open house and will only be shown by appointment. Showings are scheduled from Friday March 22nd to Sunday March 24th from 2 to 4 p.m. No showings outside these dates will be allowed. Offers will be accepted until 3 p.m. on Monday March 25th after which no more offers will be taken. Is this property a good investment? The price is certainly very low. However, only subject free offers will be accepted for this property. All the urgent listings I introduced before were sold through subject free offers. This is a contract to proceed with the offer without any condition precedent. If a subject free offer is made, you cannot wait for mortgage approval. The contract proceeds regardless of whether the mortgage is approved or not. You cannot wait a home inspection report. There is no time for legal consultation with a lawyer about this property transaction. The buyer must proceed with the real estate transaction without any conditions on the agreed date. There are no particular problems with the property or the building. It is indeed correct to buy a condominium in the base location in downtown Vancouver at an incredibly low price. However, the building is quite old and may be subject to a special levy in the future and the need for a subject free offer is the biggest drawback. My commission for closing this real estate transaction is about $9,962 which I receive from the seller. The buyer does not have to pay any commission. I do not offer cash rebates to my clients. For those who purchase real estate through me, I will cover the costs of appointing a lawyer, consulting an accountant and the home inspection. That's all for today, the end, bye.